all right well i'm a little disappointed but it is what it is right i um got my first leg cramp like bah! so i'm out for this run I'm going for a long run today and i guess truth be told i could probably have seen the signs coming the dirt the dog was crazy everything was kind of nuts this morning trying to get through this trying to get through that Mutley poos before he usually does, carrying this big bag of poo, and then there's another dog and another dog, and he's, you know how sometimes life is giving you the signs. I was like, I almost couldn't get going. It was one of those days. Anyway, so I push through, and I'm, I guess I'm only a third really into my run, and I get the, oh, oh, like, oh, in my right calf. I'm like, oh that's what a leg cramp feels like I had no idea I've never had a leg cramp I mean I've had a Charlie horse in bed or whatever but I've never had a leg cramp when I'm actually exercising and uh, so I had my first one so I guess the good news is I've had my first one and now I know what they feel like and I can kind of prepare for them but the lesson I'm taking from it is that I can't apply my old way of operating to this new way of operating my guess is my body saying okay overbury there's a few foods you're not eating and you need to be eating them or yours there's, there's not enough liquids or something I don't know because truth is this is not my area of expertise this is my first time really pressing what my body can do it's also my first time pressing what my body can do at 45 versus 28 right so my lesson here is you've just hit a great threshold I'm taking it as a positive you've just hit the tip of what your old operating system could do and you've just passed through so you're you've hit a threshold I've hit a threshold I'm on the new operating system and now I've got to figure out how to take care of this body as I do this thing this triathlon I also have a bum shoulder like come on really <laughs> Jeez, Louise but you probably heard that story already that I was in the pool last weekend and uh, realized I can't even do 200 meters without my shoulder screaming at me and that I might be doing this triathlon with a kickboard I don't know or on my back the whole way I don't know but I guess the thing is it is what it is right and I can either stop and blame right blame the body blame my age blame I don't know blame I could just blame I could also justify justify why I can't why I won't why it's too hard why I shouldn't have to justify oh there's my out or I could build truth is this comes from network marketing language I learned that in network marketing a long time ago that in your business you're either you're in one of three places you're building you're justifying or you're blaming most people sit and blame it's just kind of the way we humans are is we want to protect ourselves from our own whatever it is our own feelings of inadequacy it's just easier to blame easier to justify because then we don't have to take risk and because we know at the end of risk not the end but like risk is the diving board right and once you're you're either in the water or you're on the board and if you're going to dive you're either going to belly flop or you're going to land beautifully and the reason why we justify is because I mean, then we don't have to risk we can stay on the board or we can build and sometimes building sometimes building is not, not going to say easy but sometimes building is incremental and logical and falls into place and there's lots of flow and sometimes building is methodical oh, and on purpose and requires some a little more effort a little more grit I don't even know that we get to choose that I mean people might law of attraction people might say no you do get to choose that but I think there's lessons sometimes that we're asking for and the lessons that we're asking for show up in sometimes in ease and sometimes not and it's not for me to judge I just need to show up anyway this was a talk about a leg cramp <laughs> so here I go I have ended up walking I'm walking to my truck I can't believe I'm walking I'm kind of hobbling if you know anything about leg cramps and have a night have a sense of what I should be eating hold on car let me know is there something I should be doing that maybe I'm missing and I am going to consult my peeps Miel Bernstein you're first on the list today Miel's healthy 
have it snow. <laughs> That's so funny. Miel's food for thought, growing healthy habits for life. She's going to be first on my list. I'm also going to consult with Charlene Sanjanko, my beautiful friend on the Sunshine Coast. Steely Springham, also on the Sunshine Coast. And find out what little pieces of information I may be missing. So here's to you. Here's to your dream. Here's to always building. Here's to getting out of justifying and blaming. Here's to a most awesome life. If you want to support me on my ride to conquer cancer or my can to triathlon, I'll put a link here, okay? Because I'm swim, I swim, bike, and run for you because I can. Here we go. All right, moving along. Have a great day.